this plant was actually, uh, this was a, a, a must have in our plant palette from the very first day. This was a Dr. Kroll um, yep. edict that we would have Euonymus Americanus. Did I say that correctly? You did. Euonymus Americanus. Uh, this is the also known as the strawberry bush, and I'll let J Dr. Crow give us, um, you know, the, the highlights of this plant from his perspective and from the perspective of white-tailed deer. Well, we first of all we classify browse plants by first, second, and third choice. Okay, uh, there there are other categories. One that comes after third choice, which means a deer wouldn't eat it if his life depended on it. But there's one after the first choice, and that's what we call ice cream plants. And this is a beautiful example of, of an ice cream plant. When I came to East Texas in 1973, from East Texas all across the South, this, this bush, strawberry bush, was growing prolifically. But we had very low deer populations at that time. And in, it is virtually in danger of becoming extinct. It is so, so liked by deer. So it's a great plant, it makes great fruit, but it, it's even more important browse plant. And it's one of those that we, we're recommending that you, that you provide protection to it. You put cages around it, let it grow up, get out of the, out of the above the high reach of the white-tailed deer, and they will produce browse and they will come to strawberry bush when they won't come to any other plant. Is it your experience that the, the white-tails prefer the fruit or do they also like the foliage? Oh, they love the foliage, and not only that, but if you know, if you look at it, you notice the the stems are green. The deer eat the stems; they're, they're digestible. So, unlike a, you know other woody plants, you know that, that doesn't have high digestibility in the woody portion of the plant, these plants, uh, these, the deer can and will eat them down to the ground if you if you just have one sitting out there. Well, the good news on this one, Dave, is that these propagate really easily, they do. there's a high success rate. Um, we're, ta we're taking uh, root cuttings actually is, is our technique for mm -hmm. propagating these plants. Um, I didn't know that. That's we're thrilled uh, to have this in our availability list in our plant catalog. Uh, we think it's gonna be a winner. We will highly recommend when you purchase this plant that you also make provisions to protect it so that the so that it'll live season to season and thrive rather than because if you just plant it out there, you know, left to its own devices, the deer will eat it to death.